Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here on another bright Saturday afternoon. I hope you're all well wherever you are. Um, just had some pictures sent in from a guy called Darren who lives over in Essex. He's kind of quite well known in the stag fraternity. Uh, has a bit of a track record with stags, but I uh, won't steal my own thunder. I'll, I'll expand on that a little bit more in a bit. Uh, basically, he's been working on a Java green stag since the start of this year, 2021, and it's almost ready to move on. So uh, what I thought I'd do, I'll just share with you some of the pictures and give you a little bit of background to what he's done and uh, bring you up to date. Why not? We love stags. Let's go and have a look. As I was just saying, it uh, was a little while ago, but uh, Darren actually did own UNY 49M some time back and he starts his opening message with he hopes the fact that the uh, restoration on the car is going well uh, and uh, being an old albeit very brief owner of it he'd like to think that uh, he started the rescue of UNY as he found it in a yard in the east end of London of all places where it had sat for years and then sold it on as a project within a week or two of owning it and obviously the rest is history as we know it's made its way back to us in due course and uh, he says we're doing a great job we'll see how we get on uh, it's uh, a mission we know that now turning our attention to the java green stag as it now has uh, evolved and darren says as uh, as we know he's played around with triumph stags for many years now and in fact has worked through i think currently up to 23 of them in total so he's uh, pretty good expert at uh, Triumph Stags and knows the ins and outs of these cars and has sent a small selection of pictures of the latest car that he's purchased uh, at the end of 2020 and started the restoration in January of this year 2021. Now as you can see the car's gone through quite a major transformation and although it's not a kind of full-on nut and bolt rebuild um, he has gone through the car from front to back and is making it into a very nice, clean, sorted stag. It's had a full repaint inside and out and indeed underneath, including all the wheel arches, although he says he's going to stone chip the floors black underneath, as otherwise it'll be a nightmare to keep clean. And uh, it's not intended ever to be a show car but I think you'll agree with me it's a fantastic standard already so top work Darren I think you underestimate the the good work that you've been doing now it's also had new carpets throughout and re-chromed bumpers and trims uh, it's had new lights new door handles and in actual fact these are the ones made by the stag owners club and they fit very well and tons of other new parts including complete new front brakes discs, pads, flexi brake pipes, copper brake lines, calipers and master cylinders, plus new top mounts as well and rebuilt front legs and track rod ends. Five refurbished wheels as well with all matching tyres and even the spare is brand new. So that's commitment for you uh, if ever there was. And that's very well done Darren. Top work. He says he's going to get it MOT'd uh, very shortly and by the time this film goes out it will have been and then he's planning just to do some finishing touches to the car and a bit of snag list work to get done as such that the car is in tip-top condition and then once the car has been finished he plans then to sell it on and the car will come with a full album of the work that's been completed over the last few months and a folder with all the history and receipts of uh, the original toolkit the owner's handbook and owner's manual as well and um, as some of you may have noticed there is a red oxided stag in the background in one or two of these pictures so he's now uh, planning to move on to that one and uh, says he must be a glutton for punishment well i think darren you've done a fantastic job and uh, you're a credit to the profession okay well i think you'll agree with me what a fantastic looking car it really is up together a uh, little few bits and pieces still to be done and he's got the uh, one in red oxide that you may have seen in one of those pictures behind uh, as a next one on the list to do so uh, awesome Darren uh, top quality work the car looks absolutely fantastic and I'm sure uh, there'll be some serious interest in it in due course I'm absolutely convinced of that okay if you've got any photos or films or whatever that you'd like to share with us on the channel please feel free we're all ears uh, it's all part of sharing the classic dream on Harry the Stag and uh, don't forget either to opt for your badge of honour there's one behind me 
on the wall. I can see it behind me. Uh, that's a free sticker if you want it. Just to let us know. We'll send you one free of charge in the post anywhere in the world. And of course, on a Saturday, hook up on our Saturday Sockets email. We send that out every Saturday and it's all about off-camera shenanigans that we get up to, uh, which people are finding uh, very, very uh, interesting and uh, exciting. And again, we get lots of good contributions for that too uh, from around the world. So it's always uh, different every week. Good. OK, well, thanks very much for watching. Uh, really appreciate you following Ari the Stag. Feel free to like, share and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. All the best. Cheers for now. Bye.